When placing in a lingual wire, I use the 027 TMA Etch Solo. I use the 3M Filtech Supreme Plus. For holding the wire, I use a 3 16th elastic rubber band. I use an optic plier for adjusting the 3 3, and then a distal end, cut, end cutter for getting the right length. So I use a mushroom burr to just clean the lingual of the lower 3-3 three three so that we're removing the pellicle and the protein layer and we've got a nice clean surface to bond to. Not removing any anatomy. Sometimes there's a little bit of a marginal ridge on the canine. I'll leave that to your discretion if that needs to be adjusted. In this case here, everything looks great. We just make a blank arch wire that's too long. The assistant brings it to me. Some offices, you can even take an impression and have this pre-made uh, in the lab to a stone model. I, I find it's fairly easy just to adjust the wire in the, in the clinic at the chair side. I'm right-handed, I just go left to right, so I get the length initially. I just go past the, uh, the middle of the canine on the left side there, and then I'll go over to the right, mark it, and then I'll cut distal so that we've got the proper length. Now, some people use floss to hold the 3-3 to the lingual of the incisors. I learned a little trick from one of my clinical assistants and what she has brought to the table. A 3 16th elastic and what you do is you're just going to place the rubber band around one of the lower incisors. Now if one of the lower incisors is facial, that's the tooth that you're going to want to use because the rubber band will bring it lingual into the right position. So I'm going to put it around a lower incisor. Just let the patient know it feels like a piece of floss. You're going to put it interproximal first and then you lay the wire incisal. Now be careful because you don't want to let this wire shoot out. You want to hold on to it, put your finger on top like that, and then thread the floss through again through the contact and you can see how that's going to hold the wire to the lingual. Look how easy that is. So sometimes this elastic will roll the wire up on the canines so you may have to put a little bit of composite, hold it down and tack that side. This is really fitting nicely. I don't see it rolling up at all. Now be careful that with the anatomy of teeth sometimes this rubber band can create a little space interproximal on either side. If that's the case, bond the canines first, remove the rubber band, and then bond the incisors. I like to bond all six teeth. Some individuals bond just the canines, so that wouldn't be a problem. But for me, you wouldn't want to bond all six teeth and create a space there. So in this case, everything's fine. I don't see any interproximal space there. We can bond all six teeth. Now sometimes we'll have a tongue that's a little bit curious. So I'll take a cotton roll like this and a hemostat. And what I'll do is I'll just place the cotton on the lingual. I'm right-handed, so what I'll do is I will grab across the mouth like that, use my finger like that, and now you have good isolation holding the tongue back and the lip so that you can begin the etching process. As I'm etching, I'm agitating to make sure that I get a nice, smooth, clean surface. Have the assistant bring the etch over for you. I leave the etch on for 20 to 30 seconds and then we get a very vigorous rinse because you want to remove that demineralized enamel. Now once again when you're bonding this in, if you're going to bond all six teeth, make sure you're not getting a space interproximal around the rubber band. If you do, just bond the canine clip the rubber band, pull it out, and then that space will close and then bond the other four incisors. That's perfect. If this wire is pulling up a little bit because this rubber band, then you would want to hold the wire down while you light cure the solo. So you would tack it into place. In this regards, in this case here, we've got we don't have that, that issue where the, the wire sometimes can roll up a little bit. And light here, please.
All right, so I use the 3M Filtech Supreme Plus, a shade A2, which is a good match for most tooth shades. And what I do is I just place a line of composite along the incisal. I place a line of composite along the gingival. This is really important because when in debond failures, I find there's not enough composite along the gingival because it's hard to see. And then what I do is I just connect the two. And then on a canine, I'll actually create a little composite on the distal there so we don't have a, uh, so we have a nice comfortable tapering shape to that composite on the canine. And then on the sizers, once again, I'll go along the incisal. I'll go along the gingival and then I'll connect, 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 make sure not to get it interproximal. Make sure that you have enough composite covering the wire because once again this is going to be in for the next 10 plus years. Alright, so the 3-3 is in place. The rubber band is still present so that to remove this just take a, an explorer and you're just going to pull on the facial like this and when you cut Make sure that you cut so that there's equal amounts of rubber band on either side. If you cut it too close to one side, then it'll be easy to pull out one half, but the other half will be very difficult. So you'll see how I'll pull off to this side. My assistant will go ahead and with a pin cutter, cut there. You can see there's equal amounts sticking out there. Take your hemostat very gently, just grab and pull. Grab and pull very gently and that'll just slide right out. You can see there's no interproximal contact. Now this happens sometimes. You can see there's just a little bit of a sharp area right there next to where that rubber band was in place. So I'm now going to take a mushroom burr and just polish that little spot right there. Making it nice and smooth for the tongue. That looks good. Just get everything nice and smooth for the patient. That looks wonderful. A little bit of solo, please. Nice. Light cure, please. Perfect. We'll get a full cure in just a moment. Let's get a, if you can, try to get a good picture of that, Nick. But there's the 3-3 three, three in place, all six teeth bonded, and uh, with the rubber band technique. And um, now we'll get a full cure, and we'll show the patient how to floss underneath the lingual wire. And uh, we'll be monitoring her over the next couple of years. And if a little piece of glue comes off, we can just repair that. And um, that's an easy way to place a 3-3 using a rubber band rather than floss.